I think it's important for people entering the field of learning and development or instructional systems design or instructional design, what's nowadays being called learning experience design, is that their learners are performers back on the job. And our goal is to prepare them to perform back on the job. So our instruction or learning needs to be as authentic as possible to prepare the learners, the performers, for being successful back on the job. Now, back on the job, they're not on the payroll to employ behaviors or to perform tasks. They do those things to produce outputs, which are inputs downstream to other customers downstream, other processes downstream, or to their own next steps in their own workflow. But our job is to understand with great clarity and to enable the performance, which is to me, the performance of tasks to produce outputs that meet stakeholder requirements. And that means we need to understand what are those outputs specifically, not generally. And we need to know what are the specific requirements of the various stakeholders for the outputs. And that's just a start. Then we need to understand the process, the tasks and the behaviors and the behaviors may need to be situationally employed in the task set to produce those outputs, depending on the variances in the performance context, the customer requirements, the time of day, the, the weather outside. It could depend on many different factors, but we need to understand that performance context and what are the enablers of that performance, that task performance. Now, there are behavioral tasks that we can observe and we can count them. Uh, and there are cognitive tasks that we cannot observe or count. And we need to understand those cognitive tasks, the decisions, the discriminations, the determinations that performers make before, during, and after their task performance. How is it that they are supposed to think about their performance to make whatever situational adjustments might be necessary? We need to understand all of that before we even start to think about well, what are the knowledge and skill requirements that would enable that performance? And what are the other environmental factors? So we have a lot to focus on as instructional designers, as learning designers, and we need to be clear about what our terminal objectives are. And to me, it's all about enabling the performance requirements from back on the job.